Hello, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kaya and I'm studying medicine. Hey, I'm Tri, I do computer science. Hi, I'm Lucy and I do music. I'm Jesse. I do material science at Trinity College with Sam. We're like best mates, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Four friends, four different subjects, all their best advice and experiences from interviews. If you do like it, please subscribe. I've already recorded some more with some new subjects, which I'm really excited to publish soon. And if there's anything in particular you want to see subject-wise, let me know and I'm sure I can do that. So Kaya, what do you remember about your interviews? I remember I was really nervous beforehand because it's not something that you get a lot of practice with. It's not like anything else you'll have done. But I remember afterwards feeling like I didn't need to have worked myself up so much about it because at the end of the day, it's just like a 40 minute conversation with someone. I, it was a weird mix of like nervousness and also kind of excitement because I don't know. I'm just, I like to talk about my subjects and to learn new things about it. So it was exciting to be able to talk to like experts in the field who've been doing this like their entire lives. But yeah, there was definitely a lot of nervousness in there as well. Like, you definitely feel the pressure when it's right in front of you. But you don't, you shouldn't let it get to you, you know? Just be, like, be free, be yourself and express what you're saying. So I had three interviews in total. Um, I had one for Trinity and then two for my second college, which was Jesus. And they were all, like, technically, they were, like, on, um, they were online. I and mean, we had this virtual whiteboard thing. And then they would just, like, ask me questions. And yeah, it was chill. It was actually pretty fun, not gonna lie. I got like asked these really cool logic-y questions and uh, yeah. I, I don't know, I quite liked it in a way because I feel like I didn't get attached to the college and then not get in, you know, because I feel like that can be a bit cutthroat. But I would have loved to come here and spend a few days here and just meet people and stuff. I think my Trinity one was a bit longer because there was just one and they didn't have like pre-prepared problems already on the thingy, like it was more like just a chat. Um, whereas the Jesus one was more like, they had stuff already loaded up on there and it was like, it felt more like, not like organised, it felt more like structured in a way. Whereas the Trinity one was just like, chill vibes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously it was really stressful and I was, yeah, but no, it was chill vibes. <laughs> How much do you remember about your interviews? I didn't come out of my first interview thinking, oh my god, that's gone really well, I'm really hopeful. It was just kind of, oh. Like, ah, that's okay. So uh, they asked me lots of interesting questions, I suppose. They, kind of, they split it into two sections with like one, the first part being just like pure maths. And the second part was kind of them giving me stuff about material science and then asking me to like reason my way through it. Yeah, I had two. So I had one at Trinity, at, which I, was my college, which I applied for, and then one at Christchurch. And they, were like there was lots of different components to it so I had to submit a performance I had to um, kind of look at a piece of music and speak about it I also had to look at an article and speak about it and just questions about my submitted work and I had a lot of different tutors for the different components of the interview so I think I probably met about eight or nine tutors overall so for a STEM subject like yours can you get stuff right and wrong in the interviews? And if so, if well, you got something wrong, how, how did they deal with that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously with like science, there's always, well, not always, but usually there are specifically right and wrong answers. And so I think the best thing that you can do at an interview is talk through your thought, your thought process so that they can understand what you're thinking, where you're coming from. Maybe you have like a really interesting way of solving a question, but you didn't take into account one specific thing that could like mess everything up. So. If you talk through it and you sound like you know what you're doing, then I think it will impress them a lot more than you realise. Oh, I think I got all of it wrong. I don't remember a single question where I said something and they were like, eh, that's right. But the main thing is, I, you know, you speak through what you're thinking. So even if it's completely wrong, you, they don't feel like you've just gone there by some massive leap. You can kind of show them your steps and prove you're not a complete moron. And they, they kind of guide you through it. It's similar to the way tutorials are done here, which is like the one-on-one -on -one teaching that you have with your tutor. So it, I don't think that interviews are anything to necessarily be intimidated by. Like, just go in there, be yourself, and just do your best, you know? Make sure that when they give you feedback, when you inevitably get the questions wrong, you then take that into account before you answer the next question. Knowing what you know now, would you have done anything differently preparing for your interviews or throughout the interviews? 
yes, I would actually look at your submitted work before your interview because they spoke to me about my essay and I actually couldn't like remember certain bits to it. And bring like printouts of your submitted work and like maybe like even a printout of your personal statement to the interview in case that they ask you about it. Well, that's more if it's online, I don't know, but yeah, I'd say do that. I had not read up on the course enough because I think I thought, oh, medicine, you know, you learn the same things everywhere. But then, of course, they were like, oh, which I said I was excited for the course. And she goes, oh, which modules are you excited for? And yeah, I sort of had that buffering moment where I was like, oh, no. So yeah, read the course page because everything that they could ask you about the course will be on there. So if you guys like want practice, it really helps to just get some hard questions up on whatever is like, relevant to your subject. Go up on a whiteboard and try and do them in front of your friends. Um, just to like get in the swing of like talking through your answers. I think for the interviews as well, they gave you a list of books that they suggest you can read. And I think it may have come up for other people, but it didn't come up in mine. So I definitely wish maybe I'd done a bit more reading because it could have come up and you never know what's going to happen. But it worked out in the end. So, you know, just prepare as well as you can. Yeah, just like try and chill out, do some deep breathing exercises. Because in the end, they aren't, they literally aren't trying to catch you out. It's like a tube. It's like they're trying to simulate what you'd be like to teach and like discuss hard problems with. And yeah, so just, yeah, just like try and have fun with the questions and take a bit of time to think about them. And yeah, and it's okay to be wrong. Like it's an open discussion. I think I got one problem completely wrong, but it was fine because yeah, we just chatted about it. I'd also say, have like a, not like banter, but like have a little bit of banter with the tutors because I mean they're, they're picking people who they want to like teach. So like with mine, like, you know, like you want to make them laugh a little bit, you know, because they're people who they want to, they don't want like someone who's like dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put this in, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One question people always love to ask is, what did you wear for your interviews? Do you think that makes a difference? Um, well, I did my interview in school because it was within school hours, so I our school had a kind of like smart casual dress code where you can wear pretty much anything you like as long as it would be considered accessible in a in a workplace. So I just I think I was just wearing like a blue checkered shirt and grey trousers. So it's not I doubt whether the dress code has much of an influence on their decision to accept you as a student or not. But I mean don't maybe don't come in like pajamas. <laughs> Cool. A red jumper and a skirt, even though they couldn't see below the... <laughs> but just something comfortable and warm where I wouldn't have to be thinking about what I was wearing while I was doing it. Like, just focus on what was important, you know? I'm going to pan down yeah. and show you what you're wearing now, yeah, and then yeah. I'm going to ask what, yeah, you, what, you, what you wore at the time. But this is, this is quite a classic try outfit. And this is also how, you're, how you normally sit on chairs and stuff like that. <laughs> how similar was that in the interview? Um, I just wore a plain bright red shirt because my room at home has the most insane wall you'll ever see. It's like plastered with posters and stuff. So I was thinking like if I wear anything remotely funky I will just blend in and they won't be able to see me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was overthinking it way too much but yeah I ended up just going plain red shirt. I'm pretty sure I wore like a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair but some people wore really posh clothes I feel like it doesn't matter that's the thing like I was just like myself and um, you know um, I don't think it mattered in the end just wear what you're comfortable with as long as it's not like taking up a big portion of your like brain power and uh, yeah so how did you feel after your interviews? Um, I think I cried because it was just like a release of all of the emotion and like the adrenaline and then I slept for like 48 hours it was so tiring and that was without coming to Oxford that was just online but yeah <laughs> what else did I do um about like three hours before I was wanted to try out the whiteboard so I was like you know it would be funny if I draw a dragon on there so I did um <laughs> and then and then they joined the interview and I was just like oh no um, so I just like resized it, re resized it really tiny. But I think I genuinely think that's why I got him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, yeah. What, so what, what exactly is material science for those who don't um, know? Material science is sort of like a combination of physics and chemistry. So you do aspects of physics and chemistry, and then you apply them to the looking at the structure and properties of materials and how we can use those things to develop new materials. So yeah, it's a really interesting, really STEM subject. 
Amazing. I understood absolutely none of that. But that was that was good. Lucy, did you get asked anything really surprising in your interviews? I I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs>